Hello, my name is Raconic Rose and welcome back to another episode of Vintage Story. Now, you may notice that things look a bit different around here. Well, that is because in between episodes I took the liberty of clearing away some of the grass and reorganizing. So now everything that is uh, metal and forging and whatnot is over here. A oh, fire pit in construction, that's okay. Copper ingots, I found out that they can be stacked and if I have multiples it looks like a nice little pile. I only have one, but it's fine being there, it won't decay. This chest for metal and clay and other bits and ends. Now over here, this chest is for wooden content, so uh, logs and Planks and stuff and stings. This one, stone, including flint because something sharp, rocky goodness, that's a stone. So all my stone goes here. Odds and ends like uh, unfinished knife blade, a stick gear, and arrowheads, stuff that really doesn't have a set place. Mob drops, and that reminds me, I can actually make use of this rawhide to make another backpack and replace yet another hand basket. Again, uh, what? That's weird. Okay, guess I'm not putting that basket anywhere else. That's incredibly weird. Maybe a bug? We are on a new version. Version uh, 1.75, which doesn't have any major things, just a few quality of life things that most people won't notice. Anyway, this one is animal drops and there's a wooden bucket. Again, it won't uh, fall or anything, so that's fine. This continues to be the tool rack, so that that's normal. Over here we have the trough and it's filled. Where did the sheep go? There were a lot of rams uh, hanging around and they had babies. Oh, there they went. Are they being chased out by wolves or something? I don't know, but there's the babies. Yep. The way this works is the females eat and when their saturation is maxed then they have a chance to get pregnant and have babies. The males apparently never eat. But at any rate, this basket is for fibers, so my cattails, flax fibers, and of course, all the dry grass I could ever need. Over here, uh, we have seeds. Just a lot of seeds that I haven't planted yet, or several things, and of course the farm where they are growing. Still got a bit of uh, growth stages to go. The bushes continue to be in their place and they will be at least until their next harvest and apologies if this is like super super dark. Anyway, and continuing on, we can go up, up here where I have my trapdoor with the um, earth around it so that I can go down easy. Over here I actually cooked some poultry uh, and have fuel in this chest. I'm actually going to need about four of these to take downstairs, maybe about five of these. So the rest will leave here. The corn, of course, and here's everything else I need to cook. They're sorted by protein, grain, fruit, vegetable, and as you can see, Food category, protein, grain, fruit, vegetable. So what we need now is the clay pot. And I am going to try and make something with some grains, uh, poultry, and... Yeah, let, let's uh, let's try and use everything. So let's see. We put in the clay pot. I think the first thing to go is the rye, and it makes a porridge. 
Uh, and if we add these, no. So nothing there. Can we? Also, no. I don't know what things we can do with the poultry, and I could look it up, but eh. So sprinkled cranberries, mash turnip, and sprinkled cranberries. So yes, we can definitely use those, and let's use as many as we can to make as much as we can. So I'm going to open this, and we need... Yes, just right click a stack to take half of it, by the way. So that should be cooking, and I hope this firewood is enough for it. I'll have to check what I can do with the poultry. If I just eat it or something. Might be, I don't know. But anyway, we have a lot of metal to... Uh. Eh. Can't get up here. But yeah, drifters. Uh, might want to eat some of that poultry. I, I, I'm just, just gonna eat one. I do wish there was a way to just grab one. Uh, but there isn't, so for now we just grab half and take the rest. Just to make sure I don't die as I sleep. So this is Again, how sleep is. Should wake up near morning-ish, hopefully. Uh, ish. Let's see how this is going. Uh, apparently, it decided not to cook. What? Seven? Is that the problem? Uh... Uh, maybe too many servings, I suppose. Well, that's rather annoying. Yeah, that creates four servings, so four servings are possible. And I'm pretty sure I, like, completely wasted Right, with five servings are also possible. How about six? And I'm not entirely sure why I'm separating. Six are as well. Seven are not. So I guess six is the max servings you can put in a pot. And I'm a little bit um, bummed out that I uh, screwed that up and wasted firewood. But that is okie dokie, we can make a lot more of it. Though, I don't have a tree farm, but there's so much forest nearby that I don't think it's gonna be necessary. Yeah, those are still... still there. They, they would come up and be killed, that would be fantastic. Do you want to be killed? No? Here I am. You can come get me. Ow. Ow. I am also in favor of making them fall to their eventual doom. Dead. Whoa! What just happened there? Not entirely sure, but I didn't like it. Uh, possible bug, maybe. Alright, let's look at how our food is coming. Uh, not too much. It's still cooking despite the temperature not being good enough. 
finished though, I don't think so. Ugh, that's unfortunate and annoying. But okay, let's uh... Let's take the, that fire bit, let's take our bowls too. Because... There we go. We can put the food down and take... Why didn't that one... Okay, so they do stack, right? Uh, if I had more bowls, which I will have eventually, I could just uh, take all of them. And there we go, two meals. And I have a full saturation bar, which is great. And I get um, grain fruits and vegetables from this one. So that's most of my nutritional needs. I kinda need more, more ways to put protein in, but that's fine. So yeah, that is that. Uh, cooking and coming back to get our food is going to become a lot more necessary going forward. That's just part of the game and its evolution. Now, I actually want to take my chunks and with an empty hand take my crucible because there we go i want to immediately create one crucible what no what that oh it already contains molten metal ah well that that explains things Okay, okay, jeez. Well, let that fire up. Uh, what else do we have to do? Well, I haven't found any high fertility soil, which is rather unfortunate. Because I really would like to have these growing on something better than medium fertility soil, of course. But that's all we have around here. Okay, so this farmland is dry, but it doesn't go away. Oh, these turnips are good. So let us pick them, put the seeds where they belong. And actually, how is this? We need, well, we can put in yeah let's uh, put in either p or k so let's see what we have we have soybean k uh rice seeds as k carrot well let's put in soybeans right so I don't think I have soybeans growing anywhere else now. So the they should help. Now turnips. Turnips used to be like a great healing food. They still are. They just aren't as OP as they used to be. Which I suppose is fair enough. Oh look at the smoke pulling up there. That's cool. Uh is it molten enough to pour? That's what I want to know. Um, did it just empty? Oh boy. Well, I mean, this can happen. It's just... Uh, and that, that's just so that it, it makes more sense to me. Okay, so I actually want 10. So a thousand units of copper, which is 10 uh, ingots. And that is, that is, you know, 
just a portion of what we mined the other day. Uh, basically, I need to replace a sword, I need to replace my copper pickaxe, uh, my scythe broke as well. And some of these are also a little bit low. Not a lot, but some. Oh, the birch grew. That's cool. That's very cool. I do want uh, birch wood for floors. Uh, and yes, I know I promised we would be building and we are not building during this episode, but uh, materials. I will try to gather more materials in between episodes, like uh, make a better tree farm, uh, get more stone types, you know, just uh, the, the gathering stuff that uh, we can't really... Um, No point. Anyway, let's cut this down. Got new sounds for the, the wood. I don't think I demonstrated that last episode, but yes, I do. There we go. Entire tree comes down. What do we get? Uh, okay. I wish uh, the, um, the fact that items are, are 3D and down on the floor. I wish that was optional because personally I don't like that. Just because I can't really see the items. Especially when don't, they don't actually have a 3D model. Like for example, the stick doesn't have a 3D module. The birch log does. The turnip doesn't. And like the ones that are 2D are hard to see. But that's basically it. I mean, no other reason. I do think it looks pretty enough, like that sapling looks okay. But otherwise, yeah. Anyway, cut down another tree, get that sapling where it's supposed to be. That was weird. Yeah, the, the axes and 2x2 two two logs are very weird. The way they they work, like half the log stays in place but anyway. But one sapling, two trees, one sapling. Uh, that no, that's too close to it. no. Uh, you do you feel thankful if you're too young to to know what I'm talking about. Anyway, pine logs. So that's another wood that we can make use of. We have way too many sticks. Nobody needs these many sticks. And how's our cooling down? Okay, so let's come up again. And yes, eventually I'll probably just make another basket and uh, get uh, charcoal down there, especially the brown coal. It, it'll be useful. But it'll be more useful when we actually have a, a place to make stuff like this. So, yeah. It's still going up a little because it's way above the smelting temperature. So that's fine, just need to finish it off. I'm not sure if we'll need that. Guess we'll have to look out a little. Look at all these flowering bushes. So cute. Oh, and here's the the Yui. And the male. Hi. Hi, animal friends. The babies are still afraid of me. So not enough generations have passed. But the good news is the, they'll continue breeding. I see the wolves over there. I could like, attract them, pillar up, kill some. I'll probably do just that. Uh, actually, before I go mess with them, let me just grab a few shale stones, which are the most useless ones that I don't mind losing. And let's go relatively near. Where did they go? They were here. Now they're there. Okay. 
So a little... Ow! Jesus. Too fast. Too furious. I'll be back. Alright. I'm back with my stuff and... The wolves. Attempting to attack me. This is how I intended things to go. Like that one over there. Just uh, grab a stone. Try and smack it. No, can't get that far. That's fine. At least two of them are dead. Which gives me a few more pelt and some more um bush meat, which uh, I can cook later on. And I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, bad popper. Yeah. Okay, I don't think it's smart enough to go over there and try and jump me. So I'm gonna go one more again. There we go. Press control or shift to live. And there we go. Wolves taken care of the proper way. <laughs> no eating my my rams. My rams are friends. Okay, so now my inventory is a mess again. That's fine. I'm going to put the shale stone back where it belongs. I have a bowl of flint. That's nice. I also have mob drops, so rawhide. And close to making the... Oops, I'm missing something. Didn't notice that. That's okay, should have more than enough time to grab it. Kinda sped my way through here, so there's the other backpack. Good, perfect. Love having my stuff with me. So, I see you drifters, and I do not want to play. Let's see how things are here. Cooling down again. I do not like this. I really wish you could get some armor or something, because things hit hard. Yeah. Plus staying in the light more or less keeps them away, like not entirely, but they're less likely to come over and hit me. And they, here comes one. Like they lose interest fast and they drift off because there's the light level. I think that's fine. At least it's fine for me. But that is all the time we have for this eventful episode uh if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe all that good youtube stuff and until next time remember here there be dragons thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible click the patreon logo to become one of these fine folk and if you enjoyed the video here are some more youtube things you would like don't forget to like this video and subscribe have a lovely day and i'll see you next time